Hi there, and welcome to Austin Air's R22 R410A Freon Fact Page. If you're in the if you're in the process of repairing or replacing your heating or air conditioning equipment, uh, you're probably in for a big surprise as the complexity has really gotten it's really gotten there. Uh, this is basically to just go over a few things that have changed <clears throat> since originally uh, updating the uh, the Freon Fact Page as the market is a dynamic market and it's continually changing. Uh, so basically what I want to talk about is dry condensers. Uh, these are R22 condensers that are being shipped out on the market that are most likely going to be subpar units or units to just get you to the next level. Um, and they'll likely be short-lived. Uh, so the dry condenser is basically a condenser that's shipped without refrigerant and these are only uh, R22 units you can't use any other refrigerant in it because it still has the oil uh, compatibility it, compatibility issues uh, December 31st 2009 was the last date that manufacturers could uh, manufacture uh, any air conditioning equipment with R22 installed so basically how they've got around this limitation is to ship them dry with no refrigerant in them um, now AHRI, which is the body that tests and uh, rates the equipment as far as SEER ratings are concerned, is called AHRI, Air Conditioning, Heating, and Refrigeration Institute. They're not going to rate these dry, these dry labeled units. As of 2006, every unit, as of January 1st, 2006, every unit is supposed to be 13 SEER. But if AHRI isn't rating it, there's no way that you're going to know that you're getting 13 SEER or not. On top of all this, the manufacturers that are shipping these dry, these dry condensers, they're only issuing a five-year part warranty. Just a year ago, all the R22 units manufactured before December 31st, 2009 were shipping with 10-year part warranties. Not all, but the majority. So, my stance is, is that the better the product, the better the warranty. Five years is really a blink when considering air conditioning equipment. I mean, five years just really does not stack up, in my mind, as a good piece of equipment. Now, that doesn't mean that there won't be certain, uh, certain market functions, like if someone's selling the house, or it's a rental house, or whatever the case may be, that one of these units won't fit the bill. Uh, but my stance is is that if it's if it's only a five-year warranty it's just not good enough in my opinion uh, the second thing is is the real estate uh, market is uh, likely going to go double dip they're talking double dip this could change um, but if it does double dip people are going to be staying in their homes longer and so obviously um, cost is uh, always going to be an issue. Uh, you can go ahead and read the R22 410A fax page. It's a little bit out of date as this is late breaking news um, as uh, the dynamics of this industry is changing. Um, the big thing to remember is, is that uh, anytime you're deciding to do an improvement it's an investment and um, the better the installation the better the outcome. If you skimp on installation, you're likely not going to have anything you're going to want. Um, it's a very complicated market and it's very important that you do your homework and do it wisely and pick a seasoned professional such as myself. Um, if you're in the West Houston area, uh, you know, and you're contemplating replacement, I'll go over all your options, I'll crunch the numbers, and I'll let you know if the numbers make sense or not, whether it's going to be in your best interest to just repl replace your unit or whether a repair option is, is better suited for you. It all comes down to money and it all comes down to what you're paying in utility costs versus the savings that the new unit will likely bring you provided it's installed properly. Uh, the, the utility company, in, in, in most of my jobs that I've run, I typically see an average of about $100 a month what people are overpaying the utility company. If you're on a balanced billing, 
it's likely even higher than that. And the reason is, you know, we're creatures of habit. You know, once we get a bill and, and it's continually the same thing over and over and over again, you get accustomed to paying it, you don't think anything about it. So you could be easily be paying $100 or more every month and not even realize it. Uh, you know, the heating and air conditioning accounts for roughly 65% of your, of your energy costs. So it makes, it makes it imperative, especially these days with these high energy prices, it makes it imperative to go with an, uh, with an energy efficient solution. Um, if you've uh, gained some insight with this little video, uh, please leave me some feedback. Let me know how I'm doing. I thank you. My name is Ray Austin. Thanks again for viewing. Have a great day.